In this video, I'll show you how to use the scanner of your HP MFPM234SDW. This printer has two scanners. One of them is over here, the scanner glass, and the other one is on the top, which is an automatic document feeder where you can input multiple pages and the scanner will scan them automatically. I'll show you how both of these are working. But first, before doing that, let me show you how to connect this printer to your phone. I'll show you with an iPhone, but it works the same on Android, because then you'll be able to scan using the Wi-Fi, so you'll get your files directly on your phone, which is pretty nice if you want to share them, save them, or, you know, do whatever you want to do with them. So let's get started right away. First of all, make sure your printer is turned on. So over here, this light should be uh, lit. This tells you that it's turned on. And if the screen is off, press the I button once to wake it up. Then you need to see the Wi-Fi logo over here flashing and it should flash on the screen as well. If they're not flashing, it means that the printer is not currently in pairing mode. So to put it in that mode, you need to keep press this I button during three seconds. One, two, three then release it and we're going to press the Wi-Fi button at the same time as this X button like that and now you just have to wait about a minute the printer will shut down will power back on and it will be in pairing mode after that so let's come back in just a few seconds all right we're back and as you see here it's now flashing great now go on your iPhone you need to download the HP smart app whoops right here HP Smart. This is the app that will let you connect uh, your printer to your Wi-Fi network and then connect your iPhone to the printer. So once you have downloaded this app, press open. You'll need to sign in into your HP account if it's not already done. Uh, this is free, don't worry, it takes about an, a minute to create an account and if you don't have an account, you won't be able to use the feature where you print over uh, your Wi-Fi network and you will also not be able to scan. So this is pretty important. Just create an account with uh, your fake name, whatever. That's not important. Once you enter the app, you should have a add printer button right on the top. If you do not see it, okay, it should look like this. Set up a new printer. You can click on the top right corner, this icon. It's uh, the same thing. Then over here, you're going to select new printer. Select your HP printer from this list. Then input the Wi-Fi password of your Wi-Fi network. Next, you have to wait. Then they will ask you to press the I button. Just press it once and the setup on your iPhone will continue. Finally, press continue. Over here, press accept all. Then you, uh, you have the choice over here to select auto update if you want your printer to update automatically or if you want to do it manually, select notify. I'll select the first one. I think this is the best option. And then over here, they'll ask you to print a test page. It's up to you if you want to do this. I'll skip this step. Then press skip sending link once you see this page. Yes. Now let me show you how to use the scanners. This printer has two scanners. So the first one over here is the automatic document feeder. You can open this flap. You may have these two guides. Push them on the side. Then if you have multiple pages, make sure to align them and place them facing up. Okay, you simply have to glide them in like this. Next step is to go on your iPhone. On this main page, you're going to uh, select printer scan. If you click here on the top, under input source, click on this and select document feeder. Then go back. If you're trying to print, uh, if you're trying to scan um, pictures, or documents with a lot of details, select 300 dpi. If it's just a normal document, select 200 dpi. It's perfect if you just have some text. Go back, press done, 
and then you're going to press the scan button right there. Don't touch anything. The printer will take page by page your document. And if we look on the iPhone over here, in just a few seconds it should be ready. We're gonna have all the pages. If you want to add more pages to this document, go ahead, place them on the top the same way you did and press the add button on the top left corner and you can add many, many more pages. Over here you have reorder. If the order of your pages is not what you want, you have rotate if you want to rotate the pages and on the bottom you'll be able, if you select print preview to print what you just scanned and then you have share save. If you click here, You'll be able to rename this. So if you click on the name, oops, you can give it a brand new name. Under file settings, you can select which kind of file you want out of this scan. If it's a picture, choose JPEG. If it's, it, if it's text files, and if you have multiple pages and you want to combine them in one PDF, select basic PDF. Click on continue. You'll be able to share it on social media, share it on email, and if you go down this menu, you can also select save to file, which means save it on your iPhone. If you only have one page to scan, you can use the regular scanner over here. Okay, so this stays in this position. Take your document, put it facing down with the top part of the document on the left side. And then you're going to align this corner with the corner that is on the top left corner. So just bring it like that, then close this lid. On the app, the only difference this time, you're going to still select printer scan. But when you go up here, under input source, select scanner glass. And then modify the settings if you need. Press the scan button. You're going to get the result and do the same exact thing that uh, I showed you previously. So thanks for watching, I hope this was useful. If so, please leave a like, subscribe. If you want to get toner for this printer, paper for this printer, or even a brand new printer, check my Amazon affiliate links. This is a great way to support my channel. It does not cost you anything more, but I get a very, very small percentage of the sale since uh, these are my affiliate links. Like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.